Hello my students, how are you? Good 5. Today we'll solve weekly assessment number 14. Listen to me about question number 1. 70 divided by 7 tenses. We must cancel the point at divisor. To convert from divisor to whole number, you must product by 10. Because in any example, we must convert divisor to whole numbers. Okay, 70 divided by 7 tenses. We can product by 10. 7, 70 times 10, it will be 700. And 7 tenses times 10, it will be 7. So we product by 10 divisor and the dividend. And 700 divided by 7 equal 100. The answer will be 100. You must convert the divisor. Okay. Next question. Number 2. 6 minus 5 equal 1. 1 times 7 plus 2. 1 times 7 equals 7. 7 plus 2 equal 9. Next question. 64 divided by 32 hundredths. 64 divided by 32 hundredths plus 0 0.1 times 3.2. First step, we must divide it, this number or convert the divisor from 32 hundredths to 32 by product by 100. You must cancel the point as a divisor. My product by 100 and then dividend also divided times 100. 64 times 100 it will be 6400 and this number times 100 it will be 32 plus 3.2 times 1 tenses it's meaning 3.2 divided by 10 move the point left hand side by one place the result will be 32 hundredths 6400 divided by 32 64 divided by 32 equal 2 and then double zero the result will be 232 hundredths. Next question. Find the value of this expression. 20 plus 33 and 25, 9 hundredths. 20 plus 33, it will be 53. And 29 hundredths. Product by 10. Subtract 6.1. We know parentheses first, exponent next, multiplication and division in the same step, addition and subtraction from left hand side, right hand side, first come first, so then 53 and 29 hundredths times 10. You can move the point by right hand side by one place. Subtract by 6.1. 6 or 9 minus 1 equal 8. 2 minus 6, we can do it. In 12 minus 6 is 6, and then write 2 and write 5. Then the answer will be 526 and 8 tenses. Next question, number 5. Hannah has a bottle of uh, mineral water with a capacity of 4.8 liters that she wants to distribute into cups with capacity 6 tenses liter. How many cups can she fill with number of cups by divided the number of amount 4.8? by the capacity of each one each one takes six tenses we can cancel the point and divisor by product by 10 because the divisor here decimal it's impossible to divide the answer like this you must first convert decimal number to whole number by product by 10 because the point here after one place then the answer will be 48 divided by 6 so the result will be 8 next question divided by 5 tenses. We can convert 50 over 5 tenses times 10 and here times 10. 50 times 10 it will be 500. 500 over 5 the result will be 100. Next question. 9 subtract by 8 equal 1. 1 product by 5 plus 4 1 plus 5 times 5 5 5 plus 4 equal 9 the result would be 9 next question is the value of the expression 640 divided by 32 hundredths plus 1 tenths times 3.2 first step you must convert the divisor by the product by 100 Okay, to cancel the point, product by 100 and this product by 100, the dividend. Put behind it double zero, okay? Product by 100 here and here. 
and zinc complete 1 times 3.2 64 divided 32 equal 2 and then write 3 zeros this number 3.2 times 1 tenths is meaning 3.2 divided by 10 move the point left hand side by one place and the result will be 32 hundredths then the answer will be 2032 hundredths okay understood next example Find the value of numerical expression. Now is this we have thirty eight to twenty three and twenty nine hundredths all product by ten subtract by four point one. First step parentheses. Okay, it together right twenty nine hundredths and twenty three plus thirty three plus zero equal three and two plus three five all product by ten subtract by four point one. Times 10 moves the point right hand side by one place. 5, 3, 2.9 subtract by 4.1. 9 minus 1 equal 8. 2 minus 4, we can do it. 12 minus 4 equal 8 and write 2 and then 5. 528 and 8 tenses. Next question. It has a bottle of mineral water. With capacity 4.2 liters that won't distribute into cups. Each cup contains of 17 liters. How many cups can she fill? We can write 4.2 divided by 0.7. You must cancel the point here by product by 10. The divisor must be whole number. Product by 10 divisor and the dividend. So move the point right hand side by one place. 42 divided by 7, then the answer will be 6. Next example. Find the results 60 divided by 6 tenths. We have also here decimal in the divisor. You must cancel the point by product by 10 because the point after one place. And we have 600 divided by 6, the result would be 100. Number 2 8 minus 7 product by 6 plus 3. 8 minus 7 product by 6 plus 3. 8 minus 7 equal 1. 1 times 6 plus 3. 1 times 6, 6. 6 plus 3 equal 9. Then the result will be 9. Next question. Find the value of this expression. We have 48 plus 24 hundredths plus 1 tenths times 2.5. This number 48 plus 24 hundredths it will be 48 and 24 hundredths this number product by 1 tenths seemingly divided by 10 moves the point left hand side by one place and then we can collect together here 4 plus 5 equal 9 2 plus 2 4 and write 40, 48 and 49 hundredths next question number 4 Find the value of the expression here. 10 plus 4, 3 and 29 hundredths. We reduct by 10, subtract by 5.1. We can collect together, right? 29 hundredths and 4, 3 plus 10 will be 40. 3 plus 0 equals 3. The result will be 53. We reduct by 10 and then subtract by 5.1. We reduct by 10, move the point right hand side by one place. 53 2.9 subtract by 5.1 9 minus 1 equal 8 and 2 minus 5 we can do it put 1 12 minus 5 7 write 2 and 5 the result will be 529 527 and 8 tenses next question number 5 Hannah has a bottle of a mineral water with a capacity of 4.8 meters that she wants to distribute into cups she with capacity later how many cups or can she fill we can find 4.8 divided by 0 0.8 we must convert by product by 10 because the divisor is a point after one place the result will here 48 divided by 8 the result will be 6 so the number of cups will be 6 okay 